309 reactor uh, demolition that we're currently doing is really completing the last big uh, D4 activity, demolition, deactivation, uh, and, ex and using this explosive demolition technique uh, is really protecting our equipment, making it a lot safer for our workers. Um, and it's really driven out of our workforce ideas. You know, they're coming up and trying to identify what's the best, most cost efficient, safest way to perform our work. And, and this was one of it. And, and you couldn't help but notice the coordination of the team that goes from the people spraying water suppression and driving the trucks around, to loading of explosives, to operation, command and control, radio control uh, for the boundary protected. Uh, the Hanford Patrol has been supporting us to isolate this area and just to make sure that we don't allow anybody into our area. Um, very well planned activity. We've got in the range of 300 holes um, between the four foot holes in the deck and some holes down to the 32 elevation. They vary from 32 to 21, depending upon openings and obstructions below. But we have about 300 holes, and we'll probably use just under 1,000 pounds of explosives. I try and treat every structure like a person. They all have their own personalities, their own idiosyncrasies, whether it's the type of rebar, the amount of rebar, the size of the rebar, the type of opening, depth of hole, all those things. So you, you take each structure as an individual.